Good morning guys. Welcome to my last week in Savannah until 2025. I'm leaving for Lacoste, France, in a couple of weeks. So I go home for spring break next week. I'm like moving myself out of this room. Currently getting ready for a shoot in about an hour. I'll probably head over to the studio in like 40 minutes. I'm doing a mock Nike campaign shoot with one of my friends. I think this is for her social strategy class, but it's also gonna work with my commercial lighting photography class. So it's win win. I ain't tripping over this just like many men. Girl, I know it takes safe hands to handle all of it. Kaylin, what we got What's here? Up? We got, we're doing a Nike shoot, a little Nike shoot for our final project. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Feeling good, feeling fresh. I'm excited. Kaylin, Elijah, and Jennifer are all such talented dancers. It was so much fun to play with different poses and wardrobe changes that Kaylin had planned out with fun glasses and accessories. I was also able to play with different camera lenses and focal lengths while also mixing up the lighting setups as you can see. So it was a super fun shoot to do. When the photo shoot ended, I made my way over to the Clyde venue, which is right across the street from the SCAD Museum of Art. Also a super close walk to the high and they have line dancing every Friday night, which was so fun to participate in this night. I am starting the packing process. I'm selling my nightstand. Something to note, if you ever live in sand at Victory Village, it don't come with nightstands. So I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace at the beginning of the year for 20 bucks and now I'm selling it off to somebody else. I pulled out this shelf from underneath my bed that pushes in there and I'm just using it as a nightstand for now. On Saturday morning, I tried to do as much packing as I could. This is what it currently looks like. <laughs> a lot of my day consisted of taking things off of walls and ceilings. However, when lunchtime rolled around, I met my friends at a restaurant on Broughton Street for some delicious cheeseburgers. I then went back to the apartment to do some work and take a nap. Update! I ended up taking a two-hour nap unintentionally. This is what happens to me when I try to do homework from my bed. I usually get really cozy and then it goes off. Tonight, I'm going to see a musical with my really good friend Rachel. First, I'm gonna have a smoothie and do some editing, and then we'll go. Very stuff is so good. When I got back to the apartment, there was some fun karaoke going on, so I watched and tried to pack clothes in my suitcase. It's not gonna close. You don't think so? No, it's not. Dang it. Stop. The next morning, I met some hometown friends for breakfast because they were driving through on their way down to Florida, and I showed them around a SCAD building, and then went to the library, Kung Fu Tea, and the student center, just hopping around doing some work in the different buildings. After I finished editing the images from the photo shoot two days before, I went over to Alexander Hall to print the photos for class critique. Hey vlog, I'm Berlin. Three minutes away from start time of class. It's been wild, y'all. I'm trying to like move out, see all my friends, but also work my tail off on my last finals, and it's just been crazy. I had back-to-back -back classes, which meant back-to-back -back critiques for finals week. I had my commercial lighting photography class, and then my video for photographer's class. I just finished critique, final critique. Finals are done in both of those classes. All I have left is my fashion marketing final, which is still gonna be a lot of work, but, we're done with that and critique went really well. I'm so grateful. That night I went to Kroger to pick up some groceries for the rest of the week. In my fashion marketing class the next morning, my professor bought us all bagels and another classmate had baked cinnamon rolls to bring to class to celebrate our last week together. Here to lunch, everyone. So good. Later I had some lunch and picked up the Ariane duty phone. Currently on a duty round and I've got the duty phone here. I guess anybody calls or like a lockout or a situation I have to report to. But then I have to walk all three Victory Village buildings twice within the next however many hours I'm on duty for until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Victory Village has some beautiful study rooms with these big windows. That night my roommates and I decided to bring all of our mattresses out into the living room to have a big sleepover. Imagine if we started the dishwasher. <laughs> Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> the next day was one last beach day. Hey girl, I'm gonna miss you so much. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cry. That video was so fun and cute to find on my phone, so thank you, Gabby. When we got to the beach, we sat in the sand for a little bit, I wrote some notes to my friends, and then Gabby and I jumped in the water and had a good old time. I am so grateful for this friend of mine and so grateful for this evening that we had together before saying goodbye until 2025, which is actually insane. After a super fun time at the beach, we drove back to the apartment where my roommates decided to play with some Legos, and then I met up with a couple of my RA friends to say a hard goodbye to them. <laughs> this is so sad. This is very sad. And I'm just coming with me, guys. You like it mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> After saying goodbye to Gabby, I took one last bike ride over to Morris Hall for my fashion marketing class. These bike rides always brightened up my mornings, just taking in the beautiful sights of Savannah on my way to class. On this morning, we had our final presentations before saying goodbye to everybody. I absolutely loved this class. I learned so much and met some great people and had an awesome professor. I, of course, had to run across the street to Arts to grab one last acai bowl before my trip home. When I returned to the apartment, I packed up the last of my things and said goodbye to my room and left a little note behind for that next RA in this room. Meredith and Meredith then walked me down to my car to say goodbye. <laughs> For you. So this is such a problem. Oh, I, so I, I parked right there and I was literally like thanking you right there. True Lord, we just thank you so much for the sweet me and Jocelyn. We thank you that your oil of gladness is just so on the earth all over the world. So we thank you for that joy that she gets to carry in the two across friends. We just pray a blessing over Jake is such a dear friend of mine and it was such a blessing to run into him as I was getting into the car leaving and he asked if he could pray over me before I left and it was just the sweetest thing. God has truly worked through and blessed my scat experience in so many ways but especially through the special people he has placed in my life such as these people. That afternoon slash evening, I drove to Nashville, then the next day, drove on home to Indiana. Thank you all so much for tagging along this week, and we'll see you in the next video.